Hello everybody, Robert here again with more Rivet Training. Uh, today we're going to look at something a little different. We're going to look at revision control. How to create uh, revisions and revision clouds. So I'm looking at this file here I got from the 2018 Elo Eloise Moss uh, certification guide. This file came from that, but you can use any file. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to go to the view ribbon. And we want to select a sheet. Now we want to load in our sheet here and go down to title blocks. And let's pick up the D22 by 34. We'll click open. And then once this gets loaded here, Wow, my computer is really slow. We'll select the D by 24, 22 by 34, and click OK. And then once we have that, we'll have our sheet open. So let's take and drag and drop that level one view. Let's drag and drop in right here. So now we have this view in our sheet. So let's select this view and let's change this scale here. Let's make this a quarter of an inch. And there, now we want to realign this sheet in the middle of our, our page. And then let's just adjust this uh, title line to here. Okay, now, now we want to go to the View tab and select and go to where we say Revisions. Now, this revision block will open up and um, now the numbering can be controlled, controlled per sheet or per project. Uh, this is just going to depend on your company standard. So here, let's go and click per project. So we have that check there. And then, and that's going to be our default. So, so next, let's go down to where it says uh, alpha and numeric. So, here we can we can the visibility of the revisions can be set to non-tag or cloud and tag. So use the none setting for older older revisions which no longer applicable applicable. So right now, so let's show set the revision cloud and tag, and let's select the alphanumeric option. And now, as you can see it, we've got all our alphas in here. So let's get rid of I. Let's delete I and O because most companies don't use that for obvious reasons. Delete that one. Now, let's select the numeric tab here. Okay, now, and now let's say for our prefix, let's say A here. And that's going to let this thing come out as our prefix. So each one of these alphas will start out with an A, 1, 2, or whatever. So now let's say OK here. Now, now let's enable the numeric option here. And our prefix will be A. And 
let's say OK. Now, we can add revisions here. See, we got that A1, so let's just add one here. And we can put in here, I'm going to say this is issue to, uh, say, I'm going to say issue to, to Bob. And here I'll say issue to, issued by Robert. Okay. Now, here, we can also add the date. So these can be interchangeable with it right here. So let's, let's go with today's date. Let's go 6. And we can do that here as well. Let's just say 6-5-19. And we'll say Bob here again, or whomever, and Robert. And then we'll place OK. So now, that's pretty much all there is to this. Now let's go and modify the schedule here. So let's zoom into our title block right here. Now let's select this title block. And then let's go hit the edit family command. Now let's select the revision schedule that's in our project browser here. And as you can see, we have the uh, in the properties dialog here. Let's go in and select formatting. Let's edit formatting here. So now we'll edit our formatting. And what we want to do here, we want to select, OK. Now let's change the header formatting. This is our heading, right? So let's head, uh, change this to revision, REV for rev, period. Now let's go select our fields tab. And what we want to do here, we just want to move over issued by. So let's just push issued by over here. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is go back to formatting here. And we want to select a, a sequence. And that's going to be horizontal, love justification, and it's going to be a hidden field. Now, let's take these guys and put them in the order we want. So, I think I want to issue by to go up here. Mm -hmm. Let's say OK. No, nope, I'm sorry. Okay. We're going to go back in the fields. And we want to select these in the order of sequence that we want to use. So I think this is good. We want them in. Yeah, let's move issue by up one space. And OK. And let's select OK here. 
So now, let's go back into our title block and let's adjust these adjust this because we just created this. So let's just move this over a bit, tad bit there, and move that one to there. Okay. Now, let's do a save as here. File. Save as. This is a family. And let's save this as. Uh, let's just, just, just say save as D revision schedule. Or whatever you want to name this. Okay, let's save it. Now it's saving. So now let's load this back into our project. Load into project. Let me just ignore this and let's go back to our sheet. So now what we can do here is we can select this and we should find our new D revision schedule. There it is. We'll update that. And there's our revision schedule in our new drawing that we just created. We loaded it back into our family. Now now let's go here now, since we're back into our drawing, let's go add some revision clouds here. So an annotate ribbon, we have revision cloud. Let's select that. Okay, now, as you can see in the properties, there's where it says revision sequence two. So let's go and just place a cloud out here. There's one. And let's finish it. And as you can see, there's our revision updated issued by Robert. Now let's go and place another one. Let's place this one. Let's place this one right here. So back in the annotate tab, revision cloud. And let's place one on this wall. This should be two, I'm sorry. We could simply go back here, I hope, and grab this one. Let's make this sequence one. Now, let's do a third one. And just do these doors right here. Let's finish. Okay, now what we can do here also, let's go back into view. Let's go look at revisions. So we only had two, so let's add another one. And we can change this date to whatever we like. Let's make this six slash six. And we can name whoever we want here. 
Make it this another guy. Say Sam. This can be Sam. And this could be Tom. And we can go apply. Okay. So now for our third one, we can just change the sequence here to three. So that's pretty much it how you do these now. One other thing I want to show you here is let's go back and look at our revision schedule. And it's updating just fine. Except for I got description as date and that shouldn't be there. So we can go back here again, once again, under view, revision cloud, and we can update this. So, yep, I put the date in the wrong place. So let's just clean this up. This is control C, control V. Oop, doesn't work that way. So let's just go. And the description would be wall, wall change. So you get the idea here. You can go and modify this, and it'll update. anything you want here so let's go here with six six and we can go door door relocation We'll click apply okay and there we have it okay now that's simple enough so now the next thing we want to do here this is very simple a little quick little exercise I want to show you this because it's important uh, now let's go in and let's tag these uh, these revision clouds so we'll activate this view and we'll select annotate tag by category I'm going to deactivate that or something let's select it let's go to annotate tag by category and then let's select the cloud now there's no tab, there's no tag loaded for revision clouds. Do you want to load one now? Yes. So under annotate, we'll go down to should be revision, yeah, revision tag, and we'll say okay, open that. Then we'll select our cloud. There's our A1, our A2. And our A3. So there you go, folks. That's how you do revisions. And if we go in our title block, everything updates. So hey, just want to show you this quick little exercise somebody asked me to do. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe to me. It helps me out a lot, and I can do more of these uh, Revit training exercises for you. So again, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.